Everybody tells me that speaking is very easy as far as PT is concerned. But I still don't understand why I don't get that 90 out of 90. Sometimes 65, sometimes 63, sometimes 71. But I never get that 79 number. Nikhil, do you have any video which consolidated all the speaking techniques for a perfect 90 out of 90? Then trust me, today I'm covering 20, not one or two, 20 top speaking tips for a perfect 90 in PT speaking. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. Uh, well, I really hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back with that another video. Today's video is all about PT speaking. Well, if you have trouble in PT speaking, or you may have got speaking 90, but because of read aloud, or because of written lecture, or because of repeat sentence, your reading and listening is always less, then that's also then those people also can actually make use of this video of this 20 speaking powerful tips that can get you that speaking 90 and reading complete marks from speaking and listening complete marks from speaking before we get into the video if not subscribed to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and follow us for more updates and any point of time you need online assistance it's a paid assistance you can text us to the number given that you can please whatsapp us we will be there i'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction all right, let's get into the video. Let me just share my screen 20 speaking tips that will blow your mind for sure for the speaking 90. Let's start with straight away the tip number one. Describe image. Don't worry about the keywords. A lay person, let's say, doesn't have much experience in PTE or a person who has given multiple times but still not understanding the gist of the software will end up making huge mistakes in describe image. Because the media is like that, someone will tell you, you have to give maximum and minimum in describe image. You have to speak about the keywords or the main important functionality of the image. Then only you get marks. Describe image will look something like this. Whether you speak about browser usage, Safari, Chrome, Opera, Android, or you speak a generic answer with some through to three keywords, it is the same. There is literally no marks for the content or the keywords. So what people end up doing, they will have a template, a minimalistic template from which you have to pour in a lot of words. This image talks about browser usage where 40% uh, is for uh, uh, Android, 20% uh, is for Opera, 20% uh, is also for Chrome and uh, uh, with respect to uh, Safari around it's 20%. You will get zero speaking uh, Psychologically, we are bound thinking, oh, software is very, very intelligent. Yo, nothing is there inside the software brain. It's we who are assuming. You give importance to keywords, your fluency will be dip. But what gives you mark here? Effluency. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the keywords red and blue. However, information present for Safari and Chrome seems to be false. From the image, it is clear that topic given is not very common and maximum value seems to be constant, which further states that 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 so be wise, choose a template that has less number of words to be filled by you. Hope you are getting it. At the end of the day, even if you speak perfect content, you may still get zero if your fluency is not up to the mark. Do not worry at all about the keywords. Uh, make or use this template, whatever I've given you, just speak. But when you speak, open the mouth more. Give an image, represent beautiful image, I must have been a papillary, then you don't get marks again is zero. Speak in a way you talk to your friend. Describe image is a very easy thing. And the best part about this template, you can use this template for any kind of questions. Nicole, how about bar graph you can use, line graph you can use, how about pie chart you can use, how about process diagram you can use, how about maps you can use, how about one building picture you can use, even if they give my face, speak this. But when you speak, if you fumble, don't come back to this video and comment, this is not working, it will not work if you fumble. Fluency should be perfect, so in that way you practice, that's the tip number one. Let's quickly move on to the tip number two, describe image. 20 25 seconds is enough man don't have to speak for 40 seconds the more you speak the more mistakes you make no marks for content it is the fluency try to be rhythmic at a rhythmic speed 
and just finish it off. 2025 second enough. Don't think I spoke less, so I got low mark. No, this crab image hardly will contribute some eight to ten marks. That's the golden tip number two. Make sure if you are making this mistake, avoid them. Tip number three, describe image, no template will give you mark like I already told you, don't be in a pool of assumption. Whoever wants to make money are making money from this. Be more educative, the skills PT academic is trying to give you the correct information. Software doesn't know about template, it is we who have made it. Anything, my name is Nakul, today I am asked to speak for 25 seconds or 40 seconds, but I am confused, so I will end up speaking for 25 seconds. If I look at the image, actually my eyes start burning, so I do not want to look at the image, though the image has so many da 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 This is giving mark, not the content, but our brain thinks, oh, we need to give this maximum, then only we give. That is how the person is playing with our mind. Give some four or five keywords like I have um, given you a space to be filled using my template and just speak fluently. You will get marks. Don't pay someone for the template, please. Because even today, in spite of me putting a lot of videos about templates, not giving marks, people still text me. Even while watching also people type, how much you charge for template? <laughs> All right, hope you got the answer. Um, it is the fluency, fluency, fluency. If your fluency is bad, no template, nothing will work here. Any template is fine, but make sure you are fluent. Make sure the template helps you. Some people will have template where you have to look into the image and speak. This image talks about a home and international. Yeah, he is reading the title and he makes mistake while reading the title. This image talks about home and international students for the year 1992. Nine, 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 but the person thinks, I am speaking the title perfectly, so I will get more marks. The after will not understand anything you speak. Make sure, use the right template. Whatever I have given you has minimalistic data to be filled, please use it. Focus less or focus, do not even focus on the keywords. Alright, template number 4, sorry, tip number 4. I work on the pitch. Especially male, but some pe female also will have a problem. Let's say uh, I speak something like this. This is a thicker voice. Means pitch will be very low. The frequency, right? Mine is 140. Usual male range will be between 130, 150, 160. Totally fine. But some people will have very thick voice. High testosterone. <laughs> very thicker voice. From my experience, they have never got a good score. And especially after the software update, like one, one and a half year ago, this speech problem is very, very prevalent. So if you have a thicker voice, you have to thin it. Market research is a vital. You need to thin, not like a girl, but little. You need a pitch app that I have here that I'll show you. You need to work around, alter your tone and do it. Don't blindly go. Every time you go, speaking can be low, reading can be low because of this. Out of 10, one or two are we are not victim of the speech issues. Um, male, it should be above 130, preferably 140 or 150. For a female, less than 260. If your pitch is around 300, very thin, thinner the tone, higher the pitch. If you are female and if you think thin pitches, very, very thin, then consider increasing it by thickening it. Hope you are getting it. All these are golden techniques, secretive techniques, premium tips that we have for our register students. But I am sharing it here to make use of this. There are some applications for the Android. You can download voice, pitch, and the Lyser application. Sometimes if your version is slow in the phone, this will not be supported. You can use voice tools. And for iPhone, it's only one voice tools. Use this. See the graph. It should be above 130. Until then, you practice. 120 is also fine. If it is 80, 90, 100, 100% you will land into trouble now. Premium tip, tip number four. <laughs> All right. Tip number and 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 one second. Whatever the pitch you maintain here in the read aloud, the same pitch to be maintained throughout throughout the speaking section. Make sure, keep a note of it. Tip number five. Click next immediately once done. Let's say you're doing read aloud. Thirty seconds will be given for you to speak, but you will end it up in fifteen seconds or sixteen seconds. After that, I'll sit quiet, Nakul. The microphone will turn off after three seconds. But during those three seconds, if Mr. Butterball is speaking, shouting at the top of his voice, his voice will be recorded. When you speak and if the Butterball speaks right next to you, the mic will capture your voice. Because the amplitude, the signal strength of yours is more. When you don't speak and waiting for the microphone to turn off automatically itself. And people are shouting, let's say it's a fish market there. There are chances all those voices can be recorded. We have seen people suffering because of this. Just click next once done. 
no need to rush just finish take your mouse click next and move on to the next question once you click next it will again prompt are you sure you want to go to the next question you click yes and immediately move don't delay all right let's get into repeat sentence never close your eyes while speaking let's say there is an audio please come to the next seminar properly prepared and you're listening by closing or closing your eyes audio started please come to the next seminar properly prepared please come to the next immediately people end up speaking no there is no beep sound in repeat sentence you never know when the mic will be on and definitely mic will not be on immediately once the audio ends after the audio ends that's the please come to the next seminar properly prepared beginning in one recording at least one one and a half second and sometimes two seconds sometimes three seconds delay will be there if you speak before that whatever you speak nothing will be recorded most of the people belong to this category they never open the close listen just speak no 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 you need to open the eyes see if recording is on one blue bar or you see recording then you start speaking if you are making this mistake this going to be a bigger problem you will be so perfect in repeat sentence but none of it is recorded be very very careful tip number 7 repeat sentence it is not the content it is the fluency but what people practice for every day content you are no marker content is least priority nakul i i know repeat sentence will contribute marks to listening also nakul for listening also it is not the content if 50 to 60% of the content is matching is more than enough you don't have to be 100% content correct well you can give 100% content correct whether you give or not you will not get extra special marks you get same three marks but if you are fluent you will grab that complete three marks towards your speaking and listening by the way one repeat sentence contributes three marks towards your speaking three marks towards your listening six marks it contributes it is the fluency over the content no extra marks if you speak full or 60% you speak let's say six words out of 10 words or 10 words out of 10 words you get the same score well aim to speak full but if you can't it's okay but if you fumble no marks so what exactly i mean fluency is the key let's listen to this audio he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement see for this audio you spoke everything correct but you get zero marks here guys this is the reality what you think is correct is not as the fluency if you're not fluent let's say the person has taken 3 seconds to speak and if you're sp- taking 5 seconds to speak it will not work you should take less than 3 second or around 1 or 2 seconds here and there not speaking with lot of fumble slow will not work no nakul i gave everything correct it doesn't work like that if you maintain the fluency the software will be able to understand what you speak if you don't maintain the fluency consider yourself unlucky you're going to end up getting zero to speaking and zero to listening three marks gone to both six marks lost so whenever you practice practice for the flow not for just the content hope you're getting it now let's go one more technique like i told you it's not the fluent it's not the content it's the fluency so there are 14 words nakul i'll speak eight words correctly to speak eight words you need to listen to eight words these people don't they end up listening to all the 14 words so 14 words are sitting in no space but you listen to all the 14 words here everything has become mix and match now you try to speak seven words it's not ideally possible at all to speak those eight words out of 14 words you need to listen to eight words not more than that listen to eight words and then close your Yes, these people don't. Scientifically, it's not possible to speak eight words if you listen to fourteen words. Listen less, speak less for lengthy audios. Listen to this. He grinned widely, his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement. He grinned widely, sparkling with excitement. He grinned widely, his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement. Ten words. I spoke. He grinned widely, eyes sparkling with excitement. Six seven words. I spoke. but when i spoke i spoke full and when i listened i listened only half i was not listening to full he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement he grinned widely something sparkle with excitement so many words i am tending to ignore because i have practiced that way hope you are getting it every day when you practice with this technique listen less speak less listen less speak less the exam it going to be easy every day you simply practicing to give 100%
content correct it's not going to make any difference in the exam be aware of it repeat sentence you can add some one or two extra words it's totally fine not a problem at all the same audio he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with happiness and excitement will that be a problem no problem at all a one or two it's okay man chalega no issues make sure out of 10 words five six words match it's okay one or two words you add one or two words you delete one or two words you replace make sure you're fluent and five to six words 60% of it should match all right never add some new phrases in the end i'll show you what exactly i meant he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement he grinned widely eyes sparkling delight and excitement it is important i love you i love you i love you people are speaking this i don't know who is asking them who are these people how can they trust someone with this nonsensical idea listening full gone case speaking can be still 90 what the person is trying to focus here is the fluency yes speaking will be good how about listening speaking also will go you know crazy marks here don't do all those things i am telling you if the speaker speaks for 2 seconds you have to speak only for 2 or 2 and a half for 3 don't speak for 8 seconds software will go crazy <laughs> the way the fluency is checked is merely based on the time we are taking extra time how will fluency be good man put some sensors to these things if someone is telling you to do this show him ask him to show the proof all these things will not work never do this repeat sentence don't memorize understand and speak means don't repeat rather respond when you try to repeat you use your memory when you try to respond you use your brain anyway the words need not match right every word so listen understand the speak one or two words here and there it's totally fine hope you are getting it never make this mistake by repeating the words try to respond you try to repeat you memorize four words you can confidently do if it is six words you can't but when you understand so many words you can and when you understand you can be fluent because you know what you're talking about when you memorize perhaps that uh, confidence that convenience will not be there every day people when they practice they memorize 100% no improvement when you come out of this memorization technique and listen understand just listen understand and speak man it's very simple and when you speak don't have to speak everything exactly as it is you just listen most of it you will definitely end up speaking the same words one or two words here and there goes no problem at all we go to the read aloud techniques now content least priority like could read aloud contributes 30 35 marks to reading and speaking 70 marks still content is least priority yes it is the fluency it's the fluency 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 so let's say a person trying to speak everything correct but least bothered about the fluency how it impacts let's understand the sun dipped below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow the gentle breeze rustled through the tall grass creating a symphony of whispers so this will give you zero out of 5 from one read aloud towards your reading and speaking it's going to be zero to reading zero to speaking because you're focusing more on the content when you speak naturally how do you do it am i speaking like this by focusing word by word no the same way here the sun dip below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the that 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 the rhythm the rhythm should be there the rhythm is good you'll get the marks if rhythm is bad zero marks content everything i spoke correctly doesn't make any difference you can speak one line also and click next speaking till tranquil meadow and click next you will get full marks to reading also it is has been tested thoroughly that means see i am not even trying to speak the gentle breeze geese all these things i don't i speak only till here i still get 35 marks to reading that means all these words have been missed more than 20 words still i am getting it means content is not given much preference i'm not saying content doesn't matter it's not a priority hope you are getting it one line avoid i've made many videos on that one line if you speak perfect then speak i want to skip this word this word this word this word and still speak one by one line it will not give you mark the sun dip below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow click next you will get marks 
The sun dipped below the a warm golden glow across the meadow. This will be zero mark. Speak one line if you are so perfect in it. Otherwise, don't. That's the other tip. But as it's the fluency, fluency, fluency over the content. Never speak very fast. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow. The gentle breeze rustled through the tall grass, creating a symphony. Fluency perfect. Reading marks full go down. We have seen many people. Uh, writing 90 guys if your writing score is 90 that means you're reading fill in the blanks you don't have a problem reading writing fill in the blanks contributes to writing there if you have gotten full marks means reading FIB also you would have gotten at your reading is 70 hundred percent read a lot problem speaking can be 90 because you are speaking very fast but the poor software is complaining boss I can't understand you why are you speaking fast but you don't have the ears to listen you are just ended up speaking very fast because your friend has gotten good marks by speaking fast and you are doing it. Never speak very fast, go natural. I spoke very slow in my first attempt because I thought software will not understand otherwise. The sun dipped below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow. This will be zero. I got 53 in the first attempt. Guys, all this will not give marker. Don't Think of the software as something else. Imagine it's like a human, then talk the way you talk to a human. Simple, easy peasy. The sun dip below the see right now I'm talking to you at a natural speed. Even when I read, I do the same thing. The sun dip below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow. I would like to have my breakfast today at 8 a.m. because then I will go to gym and then badminton and then I come back to make videos. See, I'm trying to be more continuous. Same thing here read aloud these are the techniques guys these are the real techniques with which you can get 90 speaking and a very good marks towards your listening and reading too skip all the difficult words how many nakule any number all words all words you cannot skip <laughs> maybe seven to eight ten words totally fine but when you skip difficult words you cannot fumble will that be a problem to reading no it will not be a problem to reading when it's a problem to reading is when you fumble the highlighted yellow words I'm gonna skip I'm gonna show you how to sp speak them by skipping the words first option when you skip the words and still don't get marks why like this when you speak the Sun dip below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the meadow the gentle breeze through the tall grass creating a of whispers a lone figure stood at the edge of the there painted against the fading light two three marks minimum you would lose because of the unwanted pauses then how to speak confidently a skipper as if that word itself is not there what I mean by this is this this requires persistence practice the word itself is not across the meadow breeze through the tall grass creating a of whispers edge of the they are painted in that way you need to read without giving much pauses telling the software I have a problem there so I am pausing don't do all these things the sun dip below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the meadow. The gentle breeze through the tall grass, creating of whispers. A lone figure stood at the edge of their painted against the fading light. I am trying to be as continuous as possible. Giving pauses wherever required, it's fine. If you have a problem and a difficult word, you are most welcome. You can skip, but when you skip, don't hint the software. I have a problem in that, so I am pausing and skipping. It should just flow. How is it? It should just flow. Okay, flow like this. <laughs> All right. Um, tip number 16 read aloud. Do I need to worry about this S or ED sound? Developments. Developed. Should I pronounce like this? Content marks will go down. No, no, cool content. There is no marks. No, I just told you. No. So here, never exaggerate the pronunciation just to make it more clearer so what people end up doing see these words now result whispers and if you see dipped that's it let's see how people speak these three words the sun dipped below the horizon casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow the gentle breeze result through the never do this through the tall grass creating a symphony of whispers 
because we ourselves assume that every word we need to clearly give pronunciation do we do that when you speak in the real life am i doing it i've been talking to you for approximately 26 minutes straight no no need to worry the sand dip below the dip dipped no don't do that dipped nakul soft content will not go anywhere no marks uh, give it to the content you break this and say dipped fluency is gone case give it a thought i'm giving you the right information these are all the mistakes that people end up doing here then how should i speak creating a symphony of whispers the gentle breeze rustled through the rustled rustled nakul no when you speak naturally you don't do that don't do it normal pronunciation don't exaggerate that's the tip number 16 tip number 17 can i add some words replace some words one or two instead of the i speak ye instead of and i speak and will that be a problem a content not a priority guys no problem at all let's say this word i spoke as a uh, golden glow of Gentle breeze, rest through a. Uh, if I speak this way, will that be a problem? The sun dipped below a horizon, casting a warm golden glow. Rest the tranquil meadow. I missed it. Sorry, it should be off. Very sorry. The sun dipped below a horizon, casting a warm golden glow of the tranquil meadow. The gentle breeze rest through a tall grass. Will that be a problem? No problem. One or two words, no issues. When is the problem? When you fumble. When you give that unwanted pause, the sun dipped below uh, uh, the horizon, ka, ka, then gone kiss. Or, easy ones you speak fast, or natural speed, difficult ones you slow. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil meadow. The gentle breeze result to the tall grass, creating a symphony of whispers. Never do this. You are going in a highway. There are no vehicles, no speed bumper, nothing, no police, no CCTV camera. Will you keep changing the accelerator? No. You are going at 100. You will be at 100. It should be going at a cruise control mode. Going at 100 to 60. 100 to 60 should not happen in read aloud. It's the constant speed. And it's not just the read aloud. Throughout, we are speaking module. Try to be read aloud. Tick number 18. Try to be as continuous as possible. Give. But give ample pauses to the full stop or the comma. Write down comma as well here. Don't skip a full stop comma what people do. But what should have been a day of celebration of women's sports was owned by an early morning in Auckland which left two people in dead and six in injured. Don't speak like this. Wherever you want to breathe, wherever you want to pause, you need to pause. But what should have been a day of celebration of women's sport was overshadowed by an early morning in Auckland which left two people plus the gunman dead and six others injured. Ample pause. Normal pause, ample pause, a natural pause. This comma, this comma, this full stop, a natural ample pause. It should not be very fast. Right now I am talking to you. I went to a cafe yesterday which was so good and it was so neat and it was so healthy. Which was so good and it was so neat and healthy. Which was so good and it was so neat and it was so comma, comma. Naturally how do you speak? Here also. But don't give a long pause. Long pause, what some people end up doing. But what should have been a day of celebration of women's sport was overshadowed by an early morning in Auckland, which left two people plus the gunman dead and six others. Never do this. The rhythm should be picked up like this. It should not be a long halt. It should be a small halt, but pick it up immediately. So the rhythm kept going. I think I've covered everything with respect to describe image repeat sentence. Read aloud, let's quickly move to written lecture. Written lecture, avoid taking one one word. Some people will write uh, 30, 40 words. You probably don't get fluency. To get your fluency right, try to have the phrases. Something like this. Woman of the city born. It was a cup of cake. Four or five words, small phrases. Like this, four to five you write. Have a template. And whatever the first line you have taken, put it in the first line of the template. Second line, second line of the template. Third line, third line of the template. Fourth line, fourth line of the template. Fifth line you have not written. If you have written, put it in the fifth line of the template. Or take the first line and put it in the fifth line. Repeat it. 
Easy peasy, write small phrases. Watch my little lecture video. I've clearly explained. But worst case scenario, no cool. Audio came for 25 seconds. Hardly I could jot or you know jot down only two phrases. What am I supposed to do? Your template has five lines. Repeat the lines in the worst case scenario so that you get full marks towards your speaking. Maybe listening also in some cases. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about women of the city one. In the beginning, the speaker explained about it was a cup of cake. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of women of the city one. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that it was a cup of cake. In conclusion, speaker gives the important key points about women of the city one and it was a cup of cake. Fluency is perfect, speaking can be 90, listening some 1 or 2 marks you may lose. But you can't do much, you have written less um, content, it's okay. Any template is fine, no template will give you marks. But if you are using those templates where it has, uh, the speaker talked about a 20 lines was 20 words was there man. The speaker talked about women, city, hemisphere, sun. Full commas, commas, pauses, 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 how the fluency will be up. So make sure, avoid those templates which actually, you know, take you in the wrong direction. What I want is fluency. So use any template that could help you get that, 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 fluency. This will get you the perfect fluency, tested, experimented, used by all my students. This will work provided you speak without fumble. The lecture gives the important key points and the, uh, the relevant information uh, about the women of the city one. This would be zero. Zero means let's say one rate lecture contributes five marks. Fluency should be one or two because they have taken the fumbling very, very seriously. You cannot make those mistakes even once. So prepare well for the fluency, not for nothing else. The last one, answer short question. Just to pay the money to someone, just credit it. Debited from my account some dollars because he told me he will give me the repeated questions. Yeah, all those don't give mark, man. This is a dummy module. Four or five questions will come. They'll ask you a question. What comes after Sunday? You know the answer as Monday. You tell Monday. You don't know the answer? I don't know the answer. You can say, or you can say, what comes after Sunday? Repeat the question. Click next. In one of the exams, what I did. I skipped all the answer short questions and still got 90 out of 90 in speaking. All these don't matter, these, whether you speak or not, it is going to give the same marks. You don't have to worry, skip. Well, don't skip in the sense, don't worry. Skip it from your mind, out of your mind. If you can get the answer, get it well and good. Otherwise, also it's totally fine. Take a chill pill. But please don't pay someone just for repeated questions. All these don't help you. The reality. <laughs> all right. I believe these 20 top tips will help you understand your mistakes. Any point of time you need online assistance, let's say your speaking is not improving, even after doing this, that means perhaps you need one-to-one -one feedback. For that, you can enroll with us, enroll with our paid course. I'll be there to give you one-to-one -one feedback, any point of time. Fine guys, with this, I'll park it here. I really hope these 20 tips was helpful and it's not so easy to make a content like this. You would have observed my voice has gone, my voice has changed. I'm speaking at a low base. <laughs> because cold and cough so is the case with my team but still we are trying to produce the content so if you like the content do leave um, your appreciation the thumbs up and anytime you need online assistance you can text us in the whatsapp i'll be there we'll be there to help you guide in the right direction with this i'll park it here guys this is knuckle signing off from skills Academy. very soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye